People seem to be leaving California in record numbers, but I wanted to know, where are they going? I feel like that when I talk to people, I feel like every other person you talk to says that they're ready to move out of California. I don't need to go into the reasons why people are moving in 2020. That's this video. So let's talk about where Californians are actually moving. I actually thought that COVID was the reason that people started their move, but as it turns out, Californians actually started their big moves in 2018. In California 2019, 690,000 people moved out of the state. And in 2019, for the first time, California was new to the top 10 outbound states. Of those who left California in 2019, nearly two out of five cited a job or company transfer as the reason for moving. That means that three out of five left for other reasons. We're going to discuss the top 10 states. Now, let's start with state number 10 of the top 10 with the least amount of people moving. Starting with number 10 is Idaho with 21,018 people going to the gem state. Although I always thought it was known for potatoes. Number nine, 21,210 people left California and moved to the mother of all states, Virginia. Number eight, 25,252 people moved to the Empire State of New York. Number seven, 26,888 people moved to the Sunshine State of Florida. Number six, 28,288 people moved to the Centennial State of Colorado. Number five, 43,058 people moved to the Beaver State, Oregon. Number four, 50,707 people moved to the Battleborn state of Nevada. Number three, 55,467 people moved to the Evergreen state of Washington. Number two, 68,516 people moved to the Copper State, Arizona. And the number one state for moving in 2018 was a state that surpasses all the numbers. So now, if you took the amount of people who moved to Idaho, Virginia, New York, and Florida, and just subtracted a few, you would get our number one state. Number one with 86,164 people moved to, drum roll please, the Lone Star State of Texas. The main reasons that Californians signing for wanting to leave California was high housing costs of 71%, California's high taxes of 58%, and the state's political culture was 46%. Now, it's 2020 and the numbers for 2019 haven't been easily accessible, probably due to COVID, but I will make a production for the numbers of people who moved in 2020, watching the home sales and talking to people. I'm going to predict that moving to the state of New York dropped and the people who moved to the state of 
Idaho, specifically around Boise and its suburbs, moves up in ranking from like number 10. Personally, I'm gonna bet it moves up to about number five, so let's watch and see. I'm Casey Serafina Lee, real estate agent here in the San Francisco East Bay, and we are helping clients from all over the world who are relocating here to the Bay Area, and a lot more who are moving out, and we absolutely love it. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down there and ring that bell. So if you don't want to miss out any of my future videos, and then you'll get them. You'll also see about what it's like to live here in the San Francisco East Bay and the many, many surrounding cities and suburbs. I'm literally getting dozens and dozens of phone calls, emails, and text messages each and every week. And I love it. It's really, really enjoyable helping each and every one of you who's thinking of moving here, or maybe it's time for you to move out. So if you're moving to the Bay Area, maybe you're downsizing, maybe you're moving up in size, make sure you give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. My team and I, we love the Bay Area. We live here, we work here, and we love it here. And we want you to love where you live, no matter where it is, we can help. If you like this video, you might like this video that helps you get ready to move out of the state, or this video that gives you steps to move here. And be sure to subscribe to my channel here. See you on the next one.